Aloha, welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. Vanessa Perez, CEO of S3 Career Consulting, was our guest on our last show and her words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services website, newmanconsultingservices.com or our landing page, danelia.org. Joining us today in the studio as our honor guest is Mr. Burton Richardson, founder and president of Jet Kundo Unlimited, abbreviated JKD Unlimited. Mahalo for joining us today. Thank you. Hi, it's Burton. a pleasure to be here. Thanks All for right. being on We're our show. Good what to are you see talking you. About? Thank you. Well, we only have a limited amount of time, so we <laughs> want to get our, 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 our we want to give our viewers and, and listeners all of the, the time we have with you. They oh. can have with you. All right, share with them if you will uh, a little about JK. D Unlimited, and uh, what prompted you to start the, your, the business? Well, uh, Jeet Kune Do was what Bruce Lee started, mm. and it was not just a martial art, mm -hmm. but it was also a philosophy. Uh -huh. It's a, really a philosophy of success, because Bruce Lee's whole idea was, how can we do this martial arts and make it as effective as possible? Mm. Only using what works, testing everything to see what really, really works instead of everything being theoretical. Mm -hmm. And so, taking that in the martial realm, the physical realm, and then changing that over and using the same principles, say, oh, if we can figure out how to make this work against someone who's trying to knock you out, right? Right. then you can take that in everyday life. Yes. Because if you think about it, really, martial arts is the art of overcoming obstacles. Okay. That's right. it. And what are we doing in everyday life? Yes. Overcoming obstacles. That's it. <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. So it's an art of constantly looking and trying to develop ourselves mm -hmm. and figure out what is it that we need to do? What kind of training? Mm -hmm. How can we develop ourselves physically in martial arts and also, most importantly, mentally, mentally. to think better? Okay. Right. Right. So what you're saying is that the martial art is just not learning how to punch people. It's learning to think and and digest situations and responding versus reacting. That is correct. Responding instead of reacting. Reacting mm -hmm. means they are in charge because mm -hmm. you're just reacting to what's happening. Responding is making an intelligent decision and choice depending on that situation, that obstacle that's presented. All right. All right. Very relevant for this show. So we've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> yes. Um, you're widely considered by the media, commentators, and other martial artists to be one of the world's leading proponents of functional self-defense. Mm -hmm. So what led you to actually get involved initially in martial arts? Mm -hmm. I grew up in a place called Carson, California, mm -hmm. which is a great place to grow up because you grow up without blinders on. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of, like many places, a lot of really wonderful people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then you have that certain percentage that really, really bad. Right. And so I grew up, I just got to see some bad things, and mm -hmm. I unfortunately experienced uh, some very horrific things myself. Mm -hmm. And so that really <coughs> got me to, you know, want to be able to defend myself. Right. Okay. And so uh, that's, what, that's what really started it. Oh. And uh, fortunately, as I went on, I had an opportunity to go to my instructors, who was my instructor now for a long time, for 37 years, um, to his school. And I saw it, and it was just like, oh. This is it. Yeah. This is what I. This is what I want to do. Well, you know, it's interesting because um, a lot of us have childhoods that are, have, were challenging, and you can either use that, you understand that that was that determined your course in life, mm -hmm. um, whether you use it for a positive or whether you do it for negative. Mm -hmm. right? Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. The um, Darren Hardy uh, says. Our adversity is our advantage. Yes. Oh. If we use it for that, right? right? We can also take our adversity and say, oh, I'm a victim, poor right. me, mm. look at what happened to me. But right. you can also say, you know, that made me stronger. Yeah, oh, that's boy. absolutely true. Yeah. Okay, Burton, your, your devotion to the martial art is absolute and your credentials are impeccable. Mm. What uh, was the pivoting moment in your life to say that you wanted to make martial art your life's work? And uh, what are your goals? Okay. Well, as far as making martial arts my life work, mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting how it worked because uh, I 
was suffering from this uh, thing called ulcerative colitis. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very rigorous, terrible, makes you really sick mm -hmm. uh, digestive system. Mm -hmm. and I didn't actually know what it was. Mm -hmm. And when I finished uh, college, I went to USC and I was a, a biology major and a writing and literature honors program. Mm -hmm. uh, finished that as well. And I, when I was finished, I was so sick. I mean, I was almost dead. And then wow. a couple of my friends that were a year ahead of me were already in medical school, mm -hmm. which was where I was headed. And they told me, this is so much harder. Mm. And I thought, you know what? Mm. Because the stress really yes. took this. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to die. Yeah. So give me, I'm just going to take one year and I'm going to do whatever I feel like. And that was martial arts. Oh, yeah. okay. 37 years later, yeah. I'm still doing it. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a, a, a it was a great Thing. Somehow yeah. I was so rock bottom mm -hmm. and I, I was depressed. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was a mess, yeah. right? I was living in just abject poverty. I was living in a little camper trailer wow. that was about the size of where we're sitting right now, just this table and all. Mm -hmm. and out of a dog and cat hospital in uh -huh. downtown LA. Mm. And I lived there for five years. I took wow. care of the dogs and cats at night. And there was a time, that I, I say this because it's rele relevant to people who are trying to make their way yes. there I remember sitting there and thinking of my future one night after being there a couple years mm -hmm. I could not visualize a way out of that trailer mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna be there the rest of my life yes. but fortunately I had my mentor Dan Inosanto who was mm -hmm. Bruce Lee's best friend and training partner and just being around him the positivity yes. mm -hmm. and he got me reading books reading bruce lee's philosophy reading mm -hmm. other people's success philosophy and little by little and chunk 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 and wow yeah, that, that just tells you how important it is to have a great mentor great yes. mentors and yeah. that word mentor when i think of it yeah. you know there are so many people who can have mentors i want to yes. tell everybody out there these two people <laughs> have <laughs> made <you>. such <laughs> an incredible Thank difference you in my life and, and my wife. No, just Thank unbelievable. You. We were on this great path. We were having great fun. And we were doing uh, this, right? Living in a nice place, New Wanu. Yeah. And they invited us up to their place one day <laughs> and it was great. And all of a sudden they said, okay, let's have a talk. <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, opened our eyes. They oh, showed us we were... No. Thank you so much. No, thank that's, you so much. I, these people are wonderful, right? Well, they, well, well, blessings and gratitude because you are as well. Yes. And it takes good people, you know, yes. and giving and giving unconditionally and having that uh, attitude of I like to be uh, a person that gives. That's yes. what you as are. Much You're as much as I receive. You both you. are. Thank and you. the other thing with mentors is yes. you have to actually take what they say yes. and do it. Because yes. <laughs> that was the hard part. Like. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you were there, right? That's we right. never thought of that, <laughs> right? But thanks to them, we're yeah. we're really well off. Oh, because yeah. most most people look at philanthropy as well. I want to have enough money to do things. No, it's about doing whatever you can do mm. to help, and unconditional help, giving unconditionally, mm. and uh, that's what you do as well. So I don't want you to to, to, to be so modest because you and your family are. Are beautiful and you touch the yes. lives of many. Many. Okay. That's, that's the idea. Yeah, we try to make right. people's lives better. Yeah. That's it. So right. you're the book author of several publications. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you've been inducted into the Black Belt Magazine Hall of Fame mm -hmm. and Inside Kung, Kung Fu Magazine Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also a Black Belt Magazine's 2015 Self-Defense Instructor of the Year. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're also awarded the Best Right uh, Choreography at the Action, uh, Action on Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So, you know, through all of this, but what are some, you talked a little bit about the challenges, but what, some of the, what are the, some of the challenges that you encountered in your quest to be the best you can be? Mm. There are constant challenges. Yeah. Mm. And again, back to that simple concept, if people can take away the, the art of overcoming obstacles. Yes. That's what, you know, the obstacles are coming. Yeah. It doesn't matter, you know. It's like this. Have you ever seen this thing where here's my plan. I start here and I go to my goal. Yeah. This is what actually happens. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Where is it going? Yeah, so true. Yeah, but we just have to keep going, you know, yeah. just keep going. I've had uh, the health, some health yeah. issues, mm -hmm. which just auto me. I, I eat very well. I really take care of my body mm -hmm. and this and that. But, you know, yeah. even with all that, yeah. bang, yeah. you know, I'm in the hospital last year mm. for a long time. Yeah, right. So, But we just have to just keep going. And, uh, I and think, have the faith. 
have that the is going to be all right. It's yes. because it's going to be all right. Yeah, that's right. Right. It's going right. to be Whatever's all right. Whatever's supposed to happen will happen. And through every adversity, as you said, you grow stronger. And as long as you don't let it bring you down. I mean, all of us have our moments where we just kind of lose that faith for a fraction of a second, but you've got to get that back. As soon as you recognize it, find somebody you can talk to, find a mentor who can bring you back to where you were so that you can keep on that path. See, that's the discipline. Yes. When we talk about discipline in martial arts, a yes. lot of times people think discipline is standing in a stance and right. not moving in. Uh, right. But discipline is the mental that's discipline. Right. When you feel yourself going into the wrong thinking mode, yeah. it's the discipline to say, oh, it's easy to just go feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. That's the easy thing to do. Yes. But you know, when, you, like, say in grappling or something, if somebody is sitting on your chest, mm -hmm. mounted on you, that's not the time to go, oh, poor me, right. what happened? Why didn't, I don't deserve it. No, this is time to get to work and get out yeah, of there. That's right. <laughs> So that's, true. That's yeah. what's so true. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> talking about mentors and mentorships, uh, we, uh, I want to ask you and to share with our audience, who was the most, uh, who were some of the most influential figures that uh, inspired you in the martial artistry? Mm. If you can share that with us, yes. I'd appreciate it. So Bruce Lee was mm. one of my first uh, people who inspired me. It turns out he he was uh, Cato in the Green Hornet way mm -hmm. back when. Right. And I love that TV hey, show. Hey, that says how up. old we are because I remember that show. <laughs> yeah, people, people are going, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the Millennium Cato, Green Hornet. Right, what are you talking about? <laughs> right, you know? uh, so I just like Batman and Robin. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. Uh, uh, I, I loved that show growing up, especially Cato. I didn't realize it was Bruce Lee until many, many, many yeah, years he later. He was masked. He had a mask on. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but then Dan Inosanto was is really my main inspiration. And I must say there I have so many instructors because I, I go and try to train with as many people as possible uh -huh. and they all inspire me. Mm -hmm. But Dan and Osanto, here's a guy who there is nobody in the world that knows more about martial arts than him. Like not even close. Mm -hmm. I study every single day. Mm -hmm. No one close because he just I mean, he's been at it for 60 years or right. so, so there's maybe actually more like 70 years. And uh, he is just such an incredible, incredibly dedicated to learning mm -hmm. himself. He's constantly training and learning and taking private lessons himself. Mm -hmm. And he's 80 years old and he goes to somebody in their 30s to learn from them. Wow. And that's, mm -hmm. that's who he that's is. That's humbleness and understanding that no matter how old you are, you're constantly learning. Yes. Yeah. And behavior is taught. Yeah. Learning is taught. Yeah. Yes. And you have to be humble enough to let someone teach you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very easy when, like, for example, when I first became an instructor, mm -hmm. after a little while, it was like, oh, you know, hey, I know what I'm doing now and this right. and that. Mm -hmm. And then you go through a little while and you go, oh, wait a second, maybe I don't know what, <laughs> so much. And then if, you know, I think it's really valuable to have that humility because then you just constantly improve. Right. I understand. So we're going to take a short break. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We're talking with Burton Richardson, founder of JKD Unlimited, regarding Keys to Success. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the half, other half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be back in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success. Aloha, this is Kirsten Baumgart-Turner. I host Sustainable Hawaii every Tuesday at noon on Think Tech Hawaii, live streamed at thinktechhawaii.com, and we also appear on Olelo. We uh, would love to have you join us for many of the interesting Think Tech uh, shows that we have, uh, dealing with really important issues that impact all of us in Hawaii as well as nationally. On Sustainable Hawaii, I try to bring up the issues that are most pertinent to those of us on all of the islands and also to help connect people. I'll, I'll give people a chance to look at what um, people are doing and see how they can plug in and get active. Hi, I'm Tyler Sabota, and I was actually a guest host on Carl Campagna's Think Tech Hawaii show, Movers, Shakers, and Reformers. And I think you should tune in every Wednesday to find, find out more about what it is. That's all. Take care.
welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the ThinkTech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Burton Richardson, founder of JKD Unlimited. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. And uh, I thank my other half would like to ask you a question. Yes, I would. So martial arts takes incredible focus. It's not just about fighting. It's about a lifestyle with many components. So how do you align your body, mind, and spirit to create inner peace? Yeah, that is a great question because for me, success, when we talk about success, it's really fulfillment, isn't yes. it? Mm. So true. Right? Well it's done. not the car or the house or That's this. So true. It's the fulfillment. And so if we are on the right path and we're doing what we should be doing and mm -hmm. we're helping other people, I mm -hmm. think for most people you can get that fulfillment. And so through martial arts, at first you're learning and it's a little mm -hmm. bit selfish mm -hmm. because it's all about you learning. And then when you become an instructor and you get to start sharing, mm -hmm. or if you're a good training partner and you're helping someone that's a little behind you, mm -hmm. now you're starting to give. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just think it's really about doing the right thing mm -hmm. because we know when we start to do something that's really not right we know, nah, it. We know. yeah we know it in here we know it's it inside so right yeah. so we have that's one of the disciplines of martial arts yes. is doing the right thing right. not just making the right move at the right time but in everyday life doing the right thing every single time you never take the shortcut you mm -hmm. never go Oh, you know, no one's going to know. Right. I'm just going to do this. No, you say, you know, I will know. Right. So integrity is everything. Integrity, yes. because then internal integrity. What well, they say, integrity is doing the right thing when nobody else is around. That's right. Yes. Yeah? And so yes. that's what we so strive true. to do. Yeah. So that you, yourself, can look at yourself in the mirror and go, mm -hmm. I'm happy with myself. Yes. And you know what? Body, <coughs> mind, spirit, everything goes sh like this and you feel fulfillment yeah, you're content good, and yeah. all right well yeah. done enjoy life <laughs> okay sure. share with our viewers the differences in approach when you teach uh, young children versus adults mm -hmm. you know the main difference i'd say is uh attention span mm -hmm. <laughs> that's number one <laughs> Attention span. <laughs> hey, don't, don't we know it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> don't we know it? Yes, we do. Big okay. parents. Uh, but I would say that's the same main thing. So that's why I keep uh, when I'm teaching children, mm -hmm. which I don't do too often. I mm -hmm. do teach some kids. We mm -hmm. do it very short periods. Mm -hmm. I have uh, some of my students teach some kids classes as well, mm -hmm. and they keep it shorter so that keep the attention span. But what's interesting is a lot of times, they, okay, the adults you know just in there we grind it out and all the kids we have to make it fun for the kids right. mm -hmm. like no you have to make it fun for the adults too mm -hmm. you know how to shortcut discipline yeah make it fun right. <laughs> right. Right. right right instead of willpower willpower is finite you only have a certain reserve of willpower once you use that willpower up poof, off you go so if you keep it fun so you don't have to keep dipping into that willpower mm -hmm. it makes it so much easier mm -hmm. okay. when I was younger I did not like running jogging mm. right and then the Walkman came out and I was like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay how old are we yeah, wow, the Walkman right. came out <laughs> there you go again Walkman. there we go the Walkman oh, came oh, out they're like what, what are you talking about, about? <laughs> all of a sudden running was fun it's yeah. like oh I can listen to music yeah, while I'm running right 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 so true okay. So you've had the opportunity to work with some of the masters in martial arts, which you've already mentioned. Um, what have you learned from the masters? One common thread. Well, first of all, I'd say a very high standard of excellence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very high standard. There, there's a reason it's like, wow, this is an incredible master. Yeah. They don't settle for pretty good or very good. They only settle with absolute excellence. And you know, we can't ever get perfection, mm. but by striving and you know that that thing, oh, that's good enough. No, mm. not good enough. Mm. Never good enough. And so that is one thing. The second thing that I learned that they all have in common is courage. Mm. They really courageous. And courage, as we know, is just acting, doing what we should do when we're afraid. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, John and Danelia really mm. helped us have our mindset and when we were able to buy a second house to mm -hmm. do a rental property that mm -hmm. was scary yes but I seriously 
I took your advice and then I went in and I thought like the, some of the great masters I've trained with. I yes. think, you know what? They would just step in and do it. Right. You have to just step in and do it. And, and then you're trust flow. Mm -hmm. that trust. it's going to be okay. Mm. Yes. You're yes. going to figure it out. They're going yeah. to be challenged, but you will figure it out. It's interesting because fear stops us from moving forward in life so much mm -hmm. and we're allowing ourselves and we all all experience it at one time i mean some of us experience constant fear mm -hmm. but you know you really have to mentally that's why it's so important to key in mentally with your heart your spirit your mind to overcome that fear and just trust that it's going to be okay mm -hmm. yeah, so back to courage exactly yes. courage overcoming fear yeah. mm -hmm. and one thing when things go bad because things yeah. go bad yeah. right is it's very important to understand the difference between disappointment and discouragement. Correct. Mm. Disappointment means, oh, I feel bad. I wish that would have happened. That it didn't. Uh, right. I'm disappointed. Okay, right. you can be disappointed. Discouragement is when you allow yourself to lose courage. Yes. Discourage. Yes. And you need courage to go forward. So we cannot allow ourselves to get discouraged. Yes. Disappointed. Okay. Yeah. And what but you're saying is allow. Yeah. You have to do it. Mm. And that's why that when you when you talked about the the absolute devotion. It has to be there, right. no matter what. You can't allow yourself to back up mm. and to regress if you know it's right and what you need to do. And that's what we teach with our students in, in class too. You know, some of them have come from all walks of life, really had some hard times. We really work with them to get through that mentally and mm. to start believing in themselves and believing that it's going to be okay. It's interesting to see what happens when things start changing for them, then there's a whole different level of fear, like, oh my, my gosh, this stuff works. Now, how am I going to deal with it? It's working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And it goes back so, to the whole lot of, be to, careful what you're asking, that's yes, right. but you might get it. Yeah, yeah, so it's interesting. We, uh, we have a signature question that we ask all of our, our guests when they come on, and you pretty much touched on it, but I'd like you to go back to it, if you would. Share with us your three success, most, the top success habits, if you will. Success habits. Mm -hmm. One, I would say, do it now. <laughs> I have that thing running in my head because we always want to put things off. Yes. It, it's do it now. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah, please. Uh, sure. Sarah and I decided years ago we're going to go through Tony Robbins' uh, oh, course. Right. I've right. done it before, right? We've all done this, right? Yeah, yeah. And so we said, okay, we're going to do it. So we start listening every morning. We're listening, 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 and somehow, guess what happened? Uh, one day we didn't. Uh -huh. That turned into a week. It turned yes. into a few months, six months. So I said, okay, we're going on a trip. We're going to be in the car. I'm taking the tapes. All right. All right. So it's, we've been putting it off. Right. I get in the car. I put in the tape, the next, the next CD. We had put it in. And Tony goes, welcome back. Now we're going to talk about procrastination. <laughs> Yeah, so do so it true. now. Yes. That would be the first thing. And then a little bit every day. Yes. Just keep at it. Just keep chipping away at it, chipping yeah. away at it, chipping away at it. We have a tendency to go, okay, I'm gonna get in shape. Yeah. I'm gonna go out and lose twenty pounds today. Right. Right? No, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, right? that's we just right. have to keep chipping away yeah. at it. It's called commitment. Mm -hmm. Right? Commitment. Commitment. And yeah. thirdly? Thirdly, have fun. Yeah. Okay. You have to make it as fun as possible yeah. because, you know, we're here having fun. Yeah. We can go through life with this, like, rah, rah, I got to yeah. do that. Come on. Do whatever you can to make it enjoyable yeah. because uh, life is, you know, long. Yes, <laughs> they say is. life is short. Long is long. Right? long. Right? It's <laughs> the longest thing we know. <laughs> <laughs> if it's, it's short if you just want to sit in that chair. <laughs> no, I mean, for true. those who say it's short, aren't getting up, moving around, uh, doing what yeah. they need to do this, to this enjoy really their life. True. But yeah. Okay. yeah, enjoy it. Have fun yeah. with it. Well, you know, it's interesting because, you know, we've mentioned John and I have been married for many, many years, 34 years. Many, many years? Many, many, right. many, many, many years. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we really, you know, we've talked about the fact that we just really enjoy each other. We laugh a lot. I mean, we really have a good time with each other. And so, that's you know, I, I truly believe that's one of the reasons why we are where we are because just like you said, you have to have fun along the way. Life is meant to be enjoyable. Yeah. It is. And really people tend true. to think uh, that life, they have a false sense of what life really is. There's no such thing as uh, perfection. Mm. You know? uh, there's, we have to argue. We have to 
yell a little. We have to. We do have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. That's why, Lori, I mean, when you, when you punch, you exhale, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have to do that every now and then. I mean, <laughs> but the thing is, you have to go back to why are you together? Mm. You have to uh, commit to un unconditional devotion. Yeah. You know, mm. And that's what it is. Once you do that, and w w Danilia and I, just to, to, to skip off, off beat just a wee bit, mm -hmm. we have a, uh, a rule. We can't go to bed mad at each uh, other. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Of course, he's the one doing the apologizing. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. Oh, we, we know that. That's <laughs> that we said we, things we, we all know that. <laughs> well, you know, this time went so quickly. You're Burton. kidding. Oh, we we're out already. Wow. We're out of time. Have to wrap it up. Burton Richardson's words of wisdom with regards to keys to networking to success can be found on Newman Consulting Services' webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com, and landing page, danilia.org. Thank you to you, our viewers and listeners, for tuning in. Thanks to our broadcast engineer, Zuri Bender, our floor manager, Robert McLean, and to Jay Vettel, our executive producer. I will get it right. Producer <laughs> who puts it all together. Thank you, Burton, for joining us today and sharing your insights to success. Thank you for everything you've done all for right. us. You're Think Tech you. Keys to Success will be back Thursday at 11 a.m. We ask that you tune in again and ask your friends and family to do so as well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. And leaving you today, we'd like to leave you with a quote from Walt Disney, which says, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Thank you all. Aloha, Aloha everyone.